are in Judges and chapter 8, verse, we're going to go back to verse 22. And it says, it is after the war that Gidon uh, waged and he won. So now what happens is the people come to him. Yisrael al Gedon. So the men of Israel came to Gedon, and they said, and they said, uh, Mishal Banu, rule over us. Not only you, but Gam Atav, Gam Bincha, Gam Ben Bincha. Not only you, also you, also your son, also your grandson. Ki Hoshatanu Miyad Midian, because you saved us. From the hand of Midian, and simply put, the Mitzvah of David says, "Rule over us." Means kiblu oto mehava lim shol behem, the uh, receive the, uh, receive from love to rule over them, who uh, the, he and his uh, children, and or because of the salvation that he did for them. Okay, that's a simple way to understand it. The Malbim also explains Amalei they Amalei they said to him. Shuhu Yimshol Mitzad, that he should rule over them from the side that it is fitting for this. And he has attained the purpose, that he has reached this purpose from, uh, from this. And also his children will rule over them because he saved us. So it's two things. One, you rule over us because you won. You beat, the, you beat back the enemy and therefore you've saved us. Uh, uh, and I'm sorry, therefore, you, according to the album, you have... Uh, effectively, uh, uh, earned to rule over us. I, we want your children. Yeah, that's because you saved us. So that's Aus Chesed. We're, we're, we're willing to ha have your children go on with this. Fine. So, and he, Gidon said, uh, Gidon, Gidon said to the M. Lo em shol ani vachem, I will not rule over you. Velo em shol beni vachem, nor will my son rule over you. Why? Hashem yim shol vachem, but Hashem will rule over you. So again, the Messiah's David says, Lo ratzal lekabel mshali. He did not want to receive. He did not want to accept the the uh, position of being king. Hmm. Didn't want to accept it. And why? Because there's Hashem Yimshol. Hashem will rule over you. Rachel Moy, hello, may Hashem ba tshuva. The tshuva, the, the salvation, did not come from me. It came from Hashem. Mm -hmm. so, and since you're rewarding the one who gave you the tshuva, the salvation, so it, it's obvious that you should have God as your ruler. And he says, Lazet Yimshol, who bechem, for this, he should rule over you. And you should listen to him, namely God. Um, yeah. Is, it, uh, uh, is this. Um the first time in Jewish history uh, or something close to this uh, we've been reading um, that that since B'nai Israel came into um, Haaretz that we felt a need for a king. Why do we need a king? I mean, that's another question, obviously. Why do we need a ruler? Yeah, not, not I mean, a king. We have the Torah. He, he didn't say, we have by the way, Hashem. Is, let's understand, he didn't say let's be king. To be a ruler, rule over us, rule over us. What well, is like? Would that be like more like an administrative ruler, another than uh, a king? A king, in other words, a king. I, I think the implication is a, a king makes his own edicts at his own fancy, right? Oh, that's one thing. But a king is one who is accepted by all of the people, and oh, the sure. ruler <laughs> is the one who rules over you by force. Oh, really? Right, that's how the Malvin says it, uh, the Kliyakar says it in oh, oh. Chumash. So there's two, and also the ruler does it because he earned the title from the people. So in other words, be our general. Be our general. You're going to lead us into war. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. And you, you and those, you saved us. And by the way, talk and go to Amuna for a second. Okay? Like you said, it runs all together. But talking about Amun and Bitachon here, they were showing a lack of Amun and Hashem. Because they were saying, uh, uh, you ruled, you yeah, 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 yeah. saved us. I didn't do anything. I'm God's stick, mm -hmm. to use such language. I'm, I'm God's instrument of destruction, but I'm not the one who does it. If, I, if God didn't want me to win, I wouldn't have won. If God didn't want you to win, you wouldn't have won. So recognize where the salvation is coming from. That's his point. 
He's trying to yeah. re. Yeah. He's trying to redirect their emuna. If you're going to have somebody rule over you, so it should that. be God. It's God's the one who does all this, not me. So he's taking my position and saying, "What, what do you need?" I, right. You know, is, you know. Well, more he's saying you should have a ruler. Even you should yeah, be yeah. ruled by God. Because you're looking, you have to have a moon in that. The people, when, when in the book of Shmuel, when they start yelling for a king, Shmuel's, uh, Shmuel also takes it as rejection of himself. Here he was a leader of the Jewish people, walking around doing what he was supposed to do, a nice politician, as it were, not to denigrate him, because when you say politician today, you're denigrating people. But he was going around, mm -hmm. and he was judging the people, unlike other judges who would stay at home. And he... So he felt rejected, and God said, no, they're not rejecting you. They're rejecting me. It's a straight line. They're rejecting oh, me. So, be, but that's what yeah, it is. People, yeah. people don't want to go to battle. They, why do we elect a president? Why don't we? We're a, Dem, what do we call ourselves? A, a republic, what? Democratic Republic. Democratic Republic. I don't know how those things work. But. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But why we do people to represent us? Why we are rep so we elect those representatives, which who don't represent us in reality. <laughs> they represent themselves, and <laughs> and once in a while they, they think about what their constituents yeah. would like. But we feel, and it's a general feeling, in in America uh, so, that they rule us, so we don't rule them. Okay, so, right? Yeah. No. So yeah. let me just finish. So it's a yeah. general feeling that yeah. they rule us. We're fighting the man constantly they're taxing us they 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 when it's really us 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 it, or it should be yeah should be that where's the one saying yes or no so but why did we do that we threw away king george we took uh king george oh, okay. that that yeah. sort of thing why do we do that because we don't want to be on ground zero every we time we want to right we want to live in our homes we want to go to our pools we want to drive our Cadillac de Vils. I, was, I really should be, I really should update that Cadillac could be, because nobody cares about Cadillacs anymore. <laughs> I, I, well, but we want to do that and we want to be left alone. We don't want to deal with this. So they're saying the same thing. We don't want to, every once in a while, these Midianites, these Moabites, uh, the Edomites, some other Michigan, uh, the Pelishtim are coming out. Leave us alone. We don't want to deal with this. So you know what? We want you. You were victorious. You were victorious. So you're the new leader. We want to make you the leader. We want you to conduct all the battle campaigns. Oh, that's a, that's take a, care of uh, who can take care, take care of the garbage. He, that, that guy would not be running your everyday life. He is, uh, uh, like they say, one of the duties of, of the president of the United States correct, is, correct. is to, or the, what they call it, the, the, to the security of the country. Right, right. That's what they're looking for. Yeah. That's what everybody, they're not looking for taxes. Yeah. Not, and if they wanted, if you want to tax me, so it must be for my betterment. You be my daddy. Take care of me. That's what they're looking for, a, a Moshe, a ruler. Rule over us. And you, whatever you say, we're willing to do because we don't want to go and battle. We don't want to be in the battles anymore. Hmm. We want you to stop the battles before they happen. We want to farm. I mean, there's nothing different yeah. than what we do today. Yeah. Again, we have how many people in the, the, the United States? Yeah, Three. Three. 312 million. 312 million people don't want to be bothered. That's right. <laughs> we don't want to be bothered. You want to tax. Uh -huh. I went to play and I had to pay 12% tax. Uh, what? What am I paying on top of everything else? I'm paying, I'm paying now 12%? Yeah. Crazy. But that's what it is. So, and, what, and what happens? Okay, you complain, but you still pay the bill. And you hope that they're going to do whatever they're doing with their 12%. They're going to do something besides pad their pockets. But again, with all the disgust that we have over our taxes, have we ever gone to, what's her name? Uh, our senator right here. What's her name? Wolowski. 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 Or have we ever gone to the other guy, the Democrat? Uh, Donnelly. Donnelly. Have we ever gone to Donnelly or Wolowski and said, okay, you know, I'm your employer. Not your employee, your employer. Show me the books. Yeah. I want to see what you're doing. You charge me this amount of tax. What are you doing with my tax dollars? I want the exact accounting, and you, you better make sure that you have the whole night, because I want. I'm waiting to explain everything. Nobody does that. Huh. Nobody does that.
It's probably out there someplace. But I'm saying nobody, nobody says. To tell, oh, first oh, of all, oh, yeah. if you say I want, to, I want you to tell me, they'll say, "Well, I have an, I, I have, a, I can set you up for 2020 to talk to you." But well, I'm your employee. I'm, I'm your employee. You're not your employee. Mm-hmm. Clear the calendar. I'm here. You know. But uh, again, we don't want to do that. We want you to run the system. Here's your, our money. Leave me alone. That's why we Just got do to what you have to do. Are. Sorry? That's why we got to where we are. Because Again, but that's what they want to do. Ah, what uh-huh. I'm saying is what they want to do. Let's put ourselves in their place. Okay. That's all I'm doing. You just run the country. We're going to You run the country. I want to be on my farm. Yeah, okay. I don't want to do this okay. every, every okay. 20 days. Because, you know, in other words, you need, and, and I was getting before, that, that like the President of the United States is really, he's, so he's, he's the CEO. Correct. You have the elected representatives who's supposed to make the laws. You have, have the judges in the courts right. who are either appointed or elected, and they judge whether a law is good or not. And then you have the executive leader. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. the CEO. He's, he's the chief administrator. And all he's supposed to do is see that everything is running correctly. Correct. So I'm going to even bring this even further home. I'm going to break this very, very provincial in thought. A show. A show. Uh, I, I, the same thing would apply to the yeah. churches, ah. of course. The show. What happens? We have a daily minion going on here, right? Great. Well, you decide you have an appointment or you can't make it. You, you want to go with your wife to, to pick berries. And you say to me, Rabbi, I won't be here blank, blank day. And I mean, you know what? Not only blank day, but the whole week. <laughs> I'm going to be here. And I say to you, Mr. President, who's replacing you? <laughs> Have a good day, Rabbi. <laughs> Love you too. Okay? And you go. And you expect when you come back, first of all, you expect during your, uh, during your time away that we've replaced you. Yeah. And you, furthermore, you expect, you expect when you come back that nothing's changed <laughs> and that you didn't lose a minion because you weren't in and the thing didn't collapse. You expect us to maintain the ball going, okay? Not only you, but every single one of the non-clergy here expect the same thing. So if they're going away for a month, two months, a year, uh, every year, three times a year they come to us, they expect <laughs> that we're going to be running and they expect that the money, the, the bills would be paid and the electricity on, the air conditioning, heat, and they expect that, right? But they don't want to do anything for that. Mm-hmm. The, what they want to do is, and I've said this about, I'm going to, it's 12 minutes, don't be listening. Okay. The, uh, it's about women in the conservative movement. When they were yelling, we want to be counted in the minion. And they finally got counted in the minion. The question is, where are they today? Yeah. Well, they didn't want to go to minion. They wanted it when, they go, when they're actual, they want to be counted. It's theoretical. No, 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 when they go, yeah. they want to be counted. That's all. Yeah. They don't want to have to, if they're there and there's not another guy, they want to be able to say Kaddish. They, they want the service to go on. I'm here. I'm a person. Leave me alone. So they didn't want to go. They weren't fighting for the right to be counted uh, uh, because they want to go. They were fighting for the right to be counted. So when they're there, they don't have to wait for a man. Right, that's all. Yeah. So also, but the same thing applies to everybody else. We expect everything to run, regardless of whether I'm there or not, and it should, by the way. I'm not arguing what it should and what shouldn't happen. But the problem is we don't take responsibility for it. If there was no rabbi in the system, in other words, there was no clergy, everybody, you just got together, uh, you were all balabatim, balabatim is... Uh, how do you explain balabatim? Uh, 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 laity. Laity. You're all just balabatim. You're okay. Baal habayit, the master of the house. Balabatim. If so, baal habayit actually, but okay. The householder. Householder. Right, right. Yeah. But you call the balabayit if you're not the rabbi. So laity. So if you all had laity here and there was no clergy, then you guys would figure out by yourselves how to run it, which yeah, is, and that's how shuls start. You get the laity together. They don't like the other rabbi. They, they, they get laity together. Bra- they break away. But then they realize, whoa, now we have to do everything ourselves. Yeah. So what they do is... Ten guys, you got to keep it going. Right. And they have to lean. They have to, do, they have to lead. Ah. They have to read Torah. They have to make the calls. Whatever it's going to be. Then they suddenly realize, you know what? I don't want to do this. I miss the rabbi. <laughs> but I'm not going to hire that guy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring another schlepper in. And... <laughs> 
and I'm going to make him the rabbi. I'll tell him, you are the rabbi, you are the mora da'atra, you are the one that runs the place, you are the one that makes the rules, you are the one that makes the minion, does the laning, washes the dishes, does the floor, <laughs> everything. Okay? And so the rabbi thinks, oh, I'm the big shot, until he realizes two days later that... <clears throat> You're the janitor with the key. Uh, have a good day. Okay, but really, that's what happens. And that's what they were looking for. Again, okay? on a very simplistic yeah, level, yeah, yeah. Look, they don't want to be the ones. They want the country in good shape. They want the, uh, the garbage picked up. They want the army, yeah. standing army. But they don't want their kids to go. Ah. They don't want their kids. Ah. They want you to get your group together. And say, say la vie, go, enjoy yourself and we'll pay you taxes we'll pay you whatever you need leave us alone and not only you but we'll give your kids and your grandchildren by the way it's a lie too because the minute they don't do the job you're out let's understand that too you're a ruler, you're not a king you're a ruler that's another difference of a ruler to a king a ruler is a ruler I get you for the one generation it's not divine right the king is divine right God picks the kings that's why in, in England and all the other kings, yeah. they were, yeah. that was God's pick. How can, I def, how can I deny this? Okay, and the Pope, I assume, is also God's in, pick, in right? The, in, That's what they'll look at. In the days, historically, when the king, and say, we still have kings today, when they did really rule, okay, so if they were kind and beneficent to the people and saw that the people were being treated fairly, then they would be a beloved king. But what if they were really a despot? What if so they, they would break away. Look what happened to uh, Rehoboam. Rehoboam. Jeroboam broke away from his cousin Rehoboam. Mm -hmm. Rehoboam was Rehoboam. Rehoboam was uh, Shlomo's son. Mm -hmm. And, and, they, uh, and Yer Yeravim, Yerub Jeroboam came to a northern kingdom, comes to the southern kingdom, comes to the king. And, and that's happening in the southern kingdom. Mm -hmm. Judah, Judah and Benjamin. And he said, and, they, and Jeroboam was representative of the northern kingdom. Tell ten, ten tribes. He was a representative. And said, uh, Rechavim, we want to follow you, but, but your taxes are ridiculous. Uh -huh. Too much taxation. Taxation without representation. Uh -huh. Leave me alone. Yeah. It wasn't that we weren't the first to say it. Okay. So, and they said, if you lower the taxes, we will serve you like we served your father. And he says, so uh, Rechavim says, give me three, or give me a, a days, three days, whatever it was. I forget how many days he said, give me some time. He talks to the old, the old timers, the old, the old, you know, the old cabinet. Yeah. So yeah. the old cabinet tells him, listen to the people, mm -hmm. lower the taxes, it's good, you know, keep them, let's keep a unified kingdom. Very good. Then the younger kids who were brought up like him with the silver spoon in their mouth, uh -huh. they said to him, no, you can't give in to that. You're the king. The king tells them what to do. So he says the famous line, my father beat you with whips. I'm going to beat with scorpions. Oh. Fine. And I was going to make it worse for you. Yeah. And, Rechav, and so Yeravim, Jeroboam says, oh yeah? Zygesund. Be healthy. Oh, you know German. Zygesund. And ten tribes break off. Thus you have the northern kingdom. And he becomes a king of the northern kingdom mm. and the southern mm. kingdom mm. so you have a break off so a king nobody is going to maintain their power if we don't I like this you this has happened i mean uh, in, in more modern times uh, such as like middle ages like in europe if a king really becomes despotic they banished overthrow him or somebody yeah so he, he gets assassinated it's done i mean it's not hard to do <laughs> we're gonna get to you oh. it, it's always amazing that we can go through one verse and find so much of life. Yeah. Right, right, right. I understand. I understand. It's true. It's true. Like one of the things that comes up in, in the history of Israel is they continually want to have a kingship so they're like other nations. Ah, that but was, at yeah. the same time, not be like other nations. Yeah. <laughs> when they say they want to be like other nations, let's understand that too. It, they want to be like other nations. And like I said, they don't want to have to go to war for two seconds. Or, I mean, how was the war? Let's, let's understand how the war was. The war is in Benjamin's territory, Benjamin's territory. So Benjamin has to now get, garner its forces, maybe make a couple of alliances with the other neighboring tribes and go to war. Well, 
again, I, it's time away from my farm. And besides, I can get killed. I mean, that's the major thing. I can get killed. But, and now I leave my family with nothing. Or my kids can get killed. But it's just disruptive to my general economy and everything else. I don't want to keep doing this. Mm -hmm. Now, it's, I could, if I'm so desire, keep the Torah. <laughs> and I could convince my fellow Jew to keep the Torah. And with all the Imun and Betachon that we have running around there, so nothing should be happening if I'm doing what I should be doing. God should be protecting me. That's God's promise. And through this, they see it throughout their history. It's not that they don't see it. They do experience times of peace. Mm -hmm. And because they're keeping, because they did tshuva. And again, that's part of the, that's part of the emotion, uh, the, this guy's job. Be emotional over us. It didn't say, by the way, be a rabbi over us. Be a mergiach. It didn't say that. But, you know, be our spiritual supervisor. Rule over us. We're not really interested in your religious reform. No. Well, they had religious reform, and they didn't want religious reform. They, that's why, in other, in other words, stand at the same time, if you tell us to do something, we, you know, we'll do it because we love you, and, and you beat the, the guy. So he has a great opportunity to do something, and he says, no, I don't want it for obvious reasons. God's your ruler, not me. Let God be your ruler. And that's, by the way, is his muster to them. Right. God's your ruler, not me. You follow God, and, nothing, and this will stop. It's a simple procedure. We don't want to hear that because, again, we want to go on our trips. We want to, we want to do our farming. We don't want to have to worry about Mincha Marev. We don't want to worry about Talmud Torah. We don't want to worry about anything. We want to just live our lives. and Leave me alone. Leave me, I, I, I believe in God. I have certainty in God. I'm going to do my studies. I'm going to do my endeavors. But when it comes to all these minor things, keeping Torah, keeping Shabbos. Take care of everything for me, but don't tell me what to do. Right. I know, how, I know what I should be doing. I know what's best for me. Again, that's, that's what we're dealing with. Right. <coughs> and that's what I'm saying. <coughs> we, we look at this in a, in a very limited sense when we're looking at it. Uh, how could they ask for this and that? But we do the same things. We're doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And that's why I said, if you learn Shoftim, out of all the other books, if you learn Shoftim, it's so much up to date. It's not even funny. Oh, oh, oh. It's, like it's everything, that, and that's why it keeps going. And it goes into cycles every 40 years, every 40 years. It's like, oh, when are we going to wake up to this? Oh, and yeah, think, yeah. I would, I would, I'm sorry, one second. Just remember what you're going to say. I remember the, the Israeli, uh, not this one, uh, the last, the Isra last Shlicha that was here. Oh. The last one. So what happened, when she was here, the war broke out in Israel. Uh, with, a, uh, with the... Uh, with Gaza? Yeah, the Gaza war again. Oh, six no, 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 no. Two years ago. Whatever, oh, yeah, the big, uh, whatever yeah, that was. Whatever that... Sorry, attacking everybody. Attacking. Yeah. Okay? But it was, a, it was a military attack. They were back in war. They were back into a war situation. Oh, going in. With the missiles. Yeah, with the missiles, yeah, right. With yeah. the missiles. So I forget what they called it at this point, but we all got together. And in her moment, I happened to be giving a... Uh, uh, for the camp. I was giving a, a drusha to the camp. And so I was sitting with her alone. And in a moment of weakness, I like to call it weakness because normally she wouldn't speak like this. It was only me and her. And she, uh, every, the kids were out, I guess. And she said, every two years we have to do this? Mm. Isn't it enough? How many times do we have to do this stupid war? Mm. And she was depressed. Mm. Because her friends were in the army. She escaped. Yeah, yeah. But her friends were in the army. And of course, when it's that, that survivor guilt, you know, and I should be there too, dying with my friends. Mm. But it's, she was really, how many times do we have to beat these people? Mm. We want to make peace. They don't want peace. Mm. And she was saying it to me. It wasn't, it wasn't a, you know, a, a global, uh, you know, a politician speak. It, she was saying, I, I don't get this. Now, I can't tell a secular Jew that, well, if you just follow Torah. 
yeah. <laughs> things would change. It comes to not going to help, but it, it would fall in deaf ears. But it was, it was that sort of thing. What do we have to do? And that's what they were looking at. Mm. What do we have to do? Now, I'm not going to say everybody was secular. I'm not going to get into that whole... I'm not sure if it's true to say they weren't religious at this point. But they were certainly feeling that, that these people are coming because they were going to a Vodazara, because they were giving up God, they were pushing God to the side in whatever way they were doing it. That's what they're saying they were. So again, it wasn't the majority, it was the minority. I have no idea when it comes down to that. But it's, they certainly were doing something wrong. And Hashem is giving them wake-up calls. But this final wake-up call that he, they're getting but at least for the kid on is rule over us. <laughs> rule over us. Enough. We don't want to do this anymore. Now, I'm sorry. Well, it made me think of something else. You know, it's, a, it's, it's that feeling. Well, we gave up land for peace. Ah. We, 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 we agreed to that. Oh, you mean, you're talking about present day. Yeah. And, and we gave up the land and we got less peace. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. No, I was going to say that what you were talking about before. It's that 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 character that we see, where they're apathetic most of the time, and a day later they're out protesting and ready to kill. Oh, right. you know, it, they flip flop back and forth, but never responsible, never going to do anything for positive change. They won't. Well, again, because people they don't want that. People, that, right? That's that what they want. Happen. That's what they Just want. Make it right. So, and they're willing to pick on everybody, but do what's necessary. And don't be despotic. Right. That's what they're doing. Okay. Let's try to do one more verse. <laughs> okay. So, Vayomer uh, Aleim, and he said to them, Vayomer uh, Aleim, Gidon again, Gidon said to them, Er Sha'ala Mikem Sha'ela. I'm going to ask you basically a favor. I want you to do me a, doing something. Utnu li ish nezem shlalo. And I want each man to give me a ring or the, the, uh, f from his booty. Because they had golden rings. Uh, I think it's a nose ring. What, what kind of ring is this? Uh, a nose ring. A nose ring. Uh, so they had, why? Because they, the enemy... Even though they were Midianites, they were still from Yishmael. They were from the people of Yishmael. So, so Mitzvah's David explains, Kol uh, So each person should give me, uh, like I said, a golden ring. Because Midian was from the children of Ketorah. And who was Ketorah? She Hagar. That was Hagar. Em Yishmael, Yishmael, the mother of Yishmael. Vehema Achim. They were his. They were the brothers. Uveshem echad yikru. So they're all called by one name. Derech echad lehem lahasim nezem ba'af. And those people, those Yishmaelim, again, even though the Midianites, since it's the same mother, they're all called after oh. Yishmael. Oh. So they used to wear golden earrings, golden no. nose rings. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, it's, it's a very interesting way to, to do it. Okay. Uh, the Malbim doesn't use the same logic. He says, the Midyanim in Hagim Kishmaelim. The Midyanim, even though they were from the same parent and mother, they were, uh, their Minhag was like that, and their custom was like that of the Yishmaelim, Umit Arvim Yihem, and they would be mixed with them. Like it says, Viavru on Hashem Midyanim, Vikru at Yosef Yishmaelim. Like it says again from Bracious that the men of Midianites uh, passed and they sold. Yosef to the Ishmaelim, so apparently they were always together. Mm -hmm. But uh, so either way, either they were from the uh, children of Ketorah, who was really Hagar, we had Yishmael, so we're going to call them all at Yishmaelim, mm -hmm. or they followed the Minhag of their brother Yishmael. Mm -hmm. We'll have to stop here. Okay.